Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is May 21st, 2022, and Bitcoin is just about to break out, okay? It's just about to break out, and it is happening. It's not that it will happen. It is happening. And what is it that I'm referring to? I'm referring to the breakout of the cryptocurrency market after 190 plus days of downwards price action. Okay, we've reached levels that we haven't reached for one calendar year. Okay, you heard that correctly. We've reached levels on the charts in many different assets that we haven't reached in 365 days approximately. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. This show is called the Daily Bitcoin Update. Okay, we track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency market at large. However, I'm currently on the phantom chart because I want to show you and prove to you that it is happening. It is present tense happening the breakout is happening if you know where to look for it if that interests you then watch until the very end phantom is an asset in the top uh 100 okay it's a popular cryptocurrency for those in the space in the know it's nothing i'm invested in okay and nor am i advocating for investing in phantom if you want to invest in it i recommend just like anything do your own research I'm only pointing Phantom out because Phantom is leading the charge. It's the first out of the gates. On the four hourly chart, I have the chart of Phantom, right? And my 21 EMA exponential moving average, which is designated by this yellow line. And you can see that the price of Phantom has broken the 21 EMA, thereby finally reversing this downtrend okay we've been in a downtrend for quite some time whoops been in a downtrend for quite some time okay and the price had been consolidating consolidating and finally broke out this is the breakout we're looking for even more importantly here's what i want to draw your attention to my volume indicator is showing me that the breakout is for real, okay? Because you're getting volume like you had not gotten in the in the recent past, okay? If you zoom out on Phantom, go on the daily time frame, and you look at this volume that you just gotten, right? Because this breakout just happened. You can see this breakout volume is legitimate, okay? It is comparable to the breakout volume that to the volume you had in this uptrend okay and that was a significant uptrend yeah if you measure it from the bottom all the way to the top that was a 1874 percent uptrend okay so that's the kind of volume you got and this is why this breakout in phantom is legitimate now what does phantom have to do with bitcoin what does phantom have to do with the rest of the cryptocurrency markets you have to learn to see patterns and not just isolate certain charts from others, right? The market is all correlated, just like the cryptocurrency market is correlated with traditional markets. Sometimes it's inversely correlated with the dollar and, the, you know, the basket of currencies that, you know, uh, the the DXY of, of the DXY, right? You have to see patterns and trends. And if you look at Phantom's chart, you'll see this consolidation is what we've been getting actually in Bitcoin. And actually, for those of you who are interested in traditional markets, you can see something similar. But in any case, on the daily time frame, you can clearly see your initial break of structure. And we talk about this all the time on the channel. Uh, you know, these reversal patterns, initial break of structure, your B wave that here was 
some kind of triangle as well, right? And then a pivot up, okay? Yeah, that's kind of sloppy, um, but you, I think you guys get the, the gist of it, okay? I'm not going to waste your time and rehash that. But this is what you're getting, right? You can see this pattern on a lot of different assets, right? It's a reversal pattern. And it effectively looks like a kind of W shape, okay? Like here, one, two, three, four, you get two bottoms, you got a double bottom and your reversal, okay? When it's all said and done, you got your double bottom and your reversal. So this is what you're getting in Phantom. And so if you get it in Phantom, then you're likely to get it in other assets. So the key is your confirmation is both, uh, if you want to use EMAs, the breach of the 21 EMA on the four hourly time frame or whatever time frame you want to use. And more importantly, actually, the volume indicator, my favorite, the, the uh, volume spike confirming the breakout to the upside, okay? And so if you go in the watch list, you'll see that phantom is is in double digit gains right now and nothing else is really there and now you you may ask yourself then you know is phantom leading the market why do you, you know why don't you have a, a daily phantom update it's because bitcoin has the largest market cap okay this is why we call uh we talk of bitcoin dominance um and phantom just so happens right now to be an altcoin leading the charge. I don't know exactly why, but altcoins will lead this next move to the upside. And I've been saying this because of where Bitcoin dominance is. So, you know, let's go and see Bitcoin dominance uh, really quickly once again. And you can see that. Uh, and let me take off. I'm sorry, my chart, like a uh, trading view is really slow today for some reason. I don't know if it's just me. Um, but if you go into Bitcoin dominance, you can see very clearly that you have a rejection of Bitcoin dominance at around 45%. Okay, so dominance is likely to reject off of this line. I've got this blue line in, which is a trend line. And dominance is likely to, well, dominance already rejected off of this trend line once and retested it and rejected once more. So I can see dominance coming back down to this level of support, if not even down to this level of support. This is why altcoins will lead this next charge. Okay, the charts are showing it, Bitcoin dominance is showing it. So you may very well, just like I've been saying, see this breakout happened first and foremost in altcoins, and then Bitcoin sort of follows along. And we all know, just given our analysis, that the upside to Bitcoin in this next move up is nothing compared to some of the upside targets we have for some altcoins. Now, going back to our watch list, you can see that you know Bitcoin's kind of hanging out in this region uh let's go on the four hourly time frame just like we saw with phantom you'll see for bitcoin you have a similar pattern okay you have a similar pattern forming it's not exactly the same all right you had a little more of a drawdown in this second this second bottom okay so you have one bottom obviously in bitcoin you got some consolidation and I don't think you're going to get a big second bottom before you get a move back up, okay? And that is more of uh, the nature of Bitcoin and the buying pressure and all that stuff, right? So Bitcoin just has more buy pressure than Phantom. That makes perfect sense. But I wanted to draw your attention to where Bitcoin's price is vis-a-vis -vis the 21 exponential moving out average on the four hourly time frame you'll see it's right below it. So we're literally right there. We're literally right there, but we haven't yet gotten breakout, a breakout of the price. And how do you know that? Because you haven't gotten the volume confirmation yet, okay? And you know that just like you saw in Phantom, once that breakout happens, not only will you break the 21 EMA, but you will get that volume spike confirming the breakout, okay? So this is what we're looking for. Um, 
And the other thing is a curve, CRV, has broken its 21 exponential moving average, but we don't yet have that big uh, volume sort of uh, confirmation of that breakout, okay? So I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, still, you know, I think even if you don't agree with this analysis and you think, oh, this is just a little bit of uh, a move to the upside for continued downside, a lot of people, lots of analysts, lots of people speculating in the cryptocurrency markets and the traditional markets are of the belief that this is a temporary respite before a bigger move to the downside. Even people in our community, right? Um, the daily Bitcoin update community think that we're going up a little bit, but then we're coming right back down, you know, and coming down to maybe sub 20 Bitcoin. Okay. This is popular. This isn't, you know, the zeitgeist uh, popular analysts like uh, what's his name? Gareth Soloway are talking about it. And I, I don't believe that, but, in counter to this, let's say you do have a sort of a, a, a different opinion as to what the price will do. I would still say it is wise to buy now. You don't have to buy everything. You don't have to unload your wallet now, right? You can DCA, but it's always wise to buy into fear and to sell into greed. Once again, and I've made this point before, look at fear and greed. It's the last few days are basically screaming great buy opportunity, great value. There's a reason why Warren Buffett is buying more right now than he has in the past, I don't know how long, okay? Maybe in the past year, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly why I'm talking about. We haven't had these prices. We haven't had this value for about a year, okay? It's because things are distressed. Fear is high in all markets. So this is when you want to buy, not financial advice. But history says that when you buy into fear, okay, this is when you are most rewarded. Not when you buy after it's rallied and people get greedy, okay? Then it gets more risky. So just look at the fear and greed. You can go to lookintobitcoin.com and check it out for yourselves. The We've had historically low fear in the market. We've been in extreme fear. Extreme fear for the fear and greed index is anything between 0 and 25. We've literally been in single-digit fear for the past couple of days. So that's just, you know, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking at, why I'm a huge buyer. I personally have emptied the clip. I bought everything. I'm in three huge positions in this watch list, okay? I'm in, I'm big in Ravain, I'm big in Kadena, and I'm big in Telcoin, okay? If you're following the channel, you'll know exactly why I'm big into those assets. But I'm so excited because I do believe that in each and every one of these assets, we will soon have that volume com confirmed breakout. We will soon break the 21 EMA and we will soon begin our move to the upside. I mean, look at Kadena. Look how nice and attractive that looks, right? Let's get rid of this. Look at that. Look at that move right here. It's just, it's, it's. It's just so close to breaking and destroying the 21 EMA. Look at the volume. Where's volume? Volume showing. Volume's decreasing, showing that consolidation. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful because when it happens, oh man, oh man, the entire market's going to scream. And I can't wait for it. I've been waiting 300 plus days. Um, but yeah, I, you know, we haven't gotten value like this in 300 plus days. And I'm going to show you something right here. And this is the last thing I'm going to show you. So if you zoom out on the daily time frame, and let me get out of log because you can really see this very well out of log. And let me turn off this, uh, this 21 EMA, okay? And look at this. The last time we were in this zone okay we were this low in phantom for instance and you can look at any asset that has a long enough price history and you will see the same pattern the last time we got this kind of value was almost exactly 
300 plus days ago. So if you go and you take your, your time measurement from today all the way back to when we were at these price levels, this is around 300 days, right? You can go uh, three to 400 days ago, we were at these levels. So you wouldn't be able to buy Phantom at these levels unless you went back in time 300 400 days and after that you got in you got massive 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 sort of uh uh positive price action right your your assets were basically a good buy you were buying the bottom and then you experienced a big run to the upside You've got the bottom again, yet people don't recognize the pattern. People don't recognize the fact that you're at support. This is literally what people call support, right? You, you have historical support here. You did a bunch of stuff there. You came back to support. What are you likely to do? Are you likely to bounce or are you likely to go right through support? You know, you tell me, you know, you guys got to do your analysis for yourselves, right? Do your own research. But you see the same thing in Bitcoin, my friends. You're at support. Like for people who are overly bearish, be very careful. You're at support. Again, take your ruler measurement. Go back in time about 300 days and you're back to the summer lows of 2021, May, June, July of 2021. It's 29 to 30K. You've got these prices again. Back when we were in 60K, 64k territory 69k territory people are saying oh if only i had bought at around uh, 30k 29k we had so many chances you know price was kind of dillying dallying there for quite some time you have your chance again don't miss this opportunity it's not about being right and being 100 percent correct nobody knows for absolute sure but just play play the probabilities and think how does mark how do markets work People buy into fear. People who do best in markets buy into fear and sell into greed. That's just probabilistically how you can win this game, okay? So again, go in any asset with enough price history and you'll see the same pattern. You haven't gotten this kind of value, but one year back, and that's an eternity in the cryptocurrency markets. All right, guys, if you guys got value from this analysis, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. We'd love to have you. Guys, Take care. Great. You know, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Saturday. Don't fret. Get, you know, take your positions and just wait and enjoy. Okay, that's all I would do. Take care, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.